Welcome to this introduction video to AQA GCSE Computer Science. I'll be going through um, how it's assessed, what you'll be studying and how you can get started early if you like. Paper 1 is 50% of the GCSE. It's two hours long and it's 90 marks. In that you'll be assessed on um, your understanding of algorithms and of programming. So in a little bit more detail, that computational thinking is how you can attack problems, how you can break them down and start to solve the um, problem builder solution to that problem. Code tracing is where they give you some program code and you've got to follow it through saying what it will output or what, it will, uh, what values it will put in variables and things like that. So that's understanding code that they give you. Problem solving, that comes under computational thinking as well, how you um, break down a problem and build a solution to it. And there's also programming concepts, so in more detail what, what kind of structures programs tend to be built of. Okay. Paper 2 is 50% of the GCSE, so the whole lot is over these two papers. Paper 2 is 1 hour 45 minutes, so slightly shorter, but still 90 marks. And this paper is on not the practical side of building solutions, but more of the theory of how computers work and um, how they relate to, to other systems and other um, situations. So section 3.3 is fundamentals of data representation. That's how computers actually store the information we give them. So how they store images, how they store sounds, how they store text. 3.4 computer systems that's about the hardware and software that actually make computers work. So all the input and output devices, the processing devices, storage, and the software that goes into making it work, like the operating system and things like that. 3.5 is fundamentals of computer networks. So you study how devices communicate with each other, whether over wireless or Bluetooth, or through a cable. And we also look at how the internet works, how computers communicate across the world. 3.6 is about cyber security. That's how you keep your computer and the data that's on it safe from people who might want to destroy or steal your data or take control of your computer for other reasons. As soon as you network computers, you have to actually be careful that unauthorized people aren't actually accessing your computer. 3.7 is relational databases and SQL. Relational databases are a particular type of database, um, but they're used very widely across the world. And SQL is a programming language used to um, query that database and get data out of it, and to update it as well. And then 3.8 is a vital part of any computing course, the ethical, legal and environmental impacts. Just because we can do something with computers doesn't necessarily mean that we should do that thing with computers. So ethical is looking about whether it's right or wrong to do something, whether it discriminates against people, that type of thing. Um, legal, so we look at some of the laws, uh, the legislation involved, and what it is actually illegal to do with a computer and what is uh, perfectly okay to do with a computer. And environmental impacts, because as we produce more computers and throw away more computers and use more power for computers, that has impacts on the rest of society and the rest of the world as well. So that's paper two about the wider issues and about how, uh, how computers actually work. Now when we come to learning the programming, um, we'll be using Python, Python version 3. Now it is free software, you can download it from python.org, and that core piece of software, you don't have to download it at home, but that's what we'll be using, and you can download it at home. There are versions for loads of different operating systems, there's Android, iOS, OS X, uh, Windows, Linux, you name it. When we, as we move through, when we get that little bit more advanced, we'll be moving on to um, an IDE, it's called, a, a more advanced piece of software that you can do more advanced things with, debugging and things like that. So um, at school we have PyCharm installed and we have Spider installed. And I, they form the same kind of function, so you don't need both. Um, and again, these are free tools. Now PyCharm, there is a professional edition, which does cost money, but we use the community edition doesn't have quite as many features but it is free to download and use. 
Spider 3 is open source and that's free to use as well. Now if you wanted to get started early there are three tutorials here, there are plenty more out there as well so feel free to have a look. Um, the tutorials point in the W3 schools um, tutorials, the top two links, they allow you to actually type Python into the browser and run it in the browser so you can actually have an interactive tutorial. The python.org tutorial is text based, you can't type into the web browser, you'd need your own um, Python install to test it out, but it does go into a lot more detail as well, it has a lot of detail in there. So if you're already slightly confident with Python or if you've encountered it before, then you can get much more in-depth stuff there. Okay, so that's how it's assessed in two papers, what content you'll do for each of those papers, and how you can start right now if you wanted by accessing those tutorials. If you have any questions, you can talk to Mr. Cooper or myself, Mr. King, uh, by email or in person. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have.